Virgo, welcome, welcome. This is your daily five minute read. So I'm gonna be working a new deck into the works here. Uh, this one has some some slightly offensive language and, and very little tact. So I'm only gonna use one card. I'm gonna shuffle it, I'm gonna cut it in three and then grab the bottom card and set it aside. We're only gonna look at it at the very end of the read. So I get that, that tactless advice. It's a little bit brutal, but definitely true. So let's move on to the Oracle cards and we'll set the tone for the read with these Oracle cards. Uh, the universe is eager to get going. We have Call of the Muse. Call of the Muse represents sort of finding your passion for life or finding a passion in life. Awakening genius. So definitely uh, the universe encouraging you to find something that you're passionate about. A merry motive as well, which can speak to your motive or somebody else's shining through. I feel like we're going to be talking about allowing your true self to shine through, um, through finding this passion. I have quieting the mind as well, which can speak for a need for meditation, a bit of a time out for self care, maybe some soul searching as well. I feel like that's when you're going to get this call of the muse and awakening genius. I have birds of a feather. So that might tie into a friend or maybe a, a romance or a family member, somebody you're connected with, or maybe somebody you're going to meet. I do have a tall tale as well. Um, sometimes it speaks to mistruths or finding a truth. I have the storyteller. Storyteller is all about recognizing uh, that our lives are a journey. They're a long story full of many different chapters. We may be starting a new chapter in our life. I have ears wide open. I feel like this ears wide open is tied to this birds of a feather card. Maybe listening to some advice that we're going to be getting from someone. And roots of abundance, so setting down, setting down a solid foundation for abundance. I feel like this passion, uh, this drive, discovering what it is, this is going to help you to set down a solid foundation for a new chapter of your life. Mm, I have the Knight of Cups, which represents an emotional victory. And I feel like it's going to come uh, from letting go of something from the past because I do have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a warning not to be stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. I feel like it's going to come, um, I have this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands represents sort of a passion, a drive, and an ambition. I feel like you're not going to be able to find that unless you can let go of this Five of Cups. This is where you're going to be able to find your opportunity by letting go of those emotions. The Judgment card, she's all about karma. So getting back what you put out into the world. So putting out a more positive vibe. I feel like it's going to help you to find these positive opportunities coming your way. The Sun card represents... Uh, positive things manifesting for you in your life. It's a good omen card. I feel like it's tying into this, this Knight of Cups and this Judgment card. This is some sort of karmic reward for letting go of the past, moving in a more positive way in your life. Mm. I do have the Devil card here. Devil card speaks to a destructive force in your life. I feel like this is something that you're moving on from. I feel like this is an old chapter. This is something that you need to let go of to be able to move forward. This is tied into that tall tale. Maybe some kind of a lie or a mistruth, but something that had a destructive force in your life. I have the chariot card, which represents um, a positive movement forward. So it's all about perseverance uh, and, and keep plugging ahead even when things are tough. The six of swords represents triumph over obstacles. So I see you moving towards success here. I do have the king of wands as well, but I still feel your energy in the king of wands. I feel like finding your passion and your drive is going to be a big part of this. And I feel like this is also tied into this birds of a feather card, but I don't know if this is romance. This might be uh, a good friend. This might be a good friend. Or it might be a family member, somebody who maybe shares your passion, which is why I was thinking a good friend. I feel like this is going to help you. This, this muse, this awakening genius, this passion is going to help you to move forward. And I feel like it is tied into somebody else as well, sharing that passion with you. The death card represents transition. So closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. I feel like part of this new chapter is also career. So I have this queen of pentacles and I feel like she's speaking to you to wealth and success. And I feel like you're going to be able to get it from finding your passion as well. The emperor card represents success. He is the epitome of it. Uh, so everything you believe is success because this is your read. That's what he represents. And I be believe that by finding this passion, 
that's where you're going to be able to find this emperor card for yourself the four of wands represents setting down a solid foundation for a happy future and the two of pentacles represents balance i feel like it's going to bring a balance back to multiple aspects of your life because like i said i feel a career change in here um by finding this muse, finding this call, but I feel like this friend, this bird of a feather is going to give you some advice with this ears wide open card. So definitely keep your ears open and listen. So let's see what advice this rebel card has for us. <laughs> Effing apologize. Seriously, just do it. I am not entirely sure where this one fits in. But it is good advice and this might tie into your good karma as well this judgment card and putting good vibes out into the universe it might also tie into your merry motive card uh maybe there's a friend who we need to make amends with and then we're going to be able to get that good advice that's going to help us to move on on our journey it's going to set down a solid foundation for a happy future and maybe a new chapter in a solid friendship Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in the free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and then just leave a comment in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name into the pot. Alrighty guys, take care.